Hey, beautiful humans. What's going on? It's this guy. It's me. I just wanted to make a little video and talk about some of the things that happened and some of the things I learned in the hugs video that's over on uh, Sasha Day Games' Infinite channel. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link below. And watch that first. Otherwise, you'll be like, what's he talking about? Why is he talking? So I had a bunch of ideas for videos. And um, I wanted to actually sort of let people know. My initial intention was to let people know who are wearing masks that they've been uh, brainwashed and that they're living out of a fear vibration and that they're choosing fear over love. That was actually the original video idea. Um, and I went out for like two days and I was actually going around trying to talk to people in masks and it was a shit show. <laughs> it was a total shit show. They were so, they were so afraid to talk to me. It was, it was unbelievable. Um, and I had a few conversations where I, where I, where people really listened and, and I got through to them and they're like, yeah, you're right. Mainstream media is lying. Cool. And, um, and yeah, the government's not telling us the truth. Interesting. And we do know that. And I'm like, well, why do you trust the narrative with, with the masks? You know what I mean? And people didn't even have answers. Like <laughs> it didn't make sense. The whole thing didn't make sense. It was very interesting. So, so a lot of people, um, wouldn't talk to me at all. were terrified. Uh, ran away. Some people I spoke to, and even though what I was saying was making sense and they were connecting to it, they were still too afraid to take the mask off. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it was really interesting. So, you know, you're being lied to. You know, you're starting to believe me, right? You understand what I'm saying? And yet they're like, yeah, that really resonates. Okay. And I, I even had people give me a hug, but they kept their mask on. You know what I mean? So it was, it was really interesting. I met a few people who were really, really awake, which was interesting too, but very rare. Um, but what I realized ultimately was that if somebody's in the fear and they're truly afraid, it's a vibration. It's giving them information like knowledge. It's not enough. It's not going to do anything. You know what I mean? It's just not going to do anything because they're in a vibration. And to get into the fear vibration, I mean, think about it. You've either been there your whole life, right? That's just where you're at. Or maybe you were higher at one point and things happened and you, you, you know, you, 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 you've convinced yourself on some level, you, you know, you have certain beliefs and programs running that just have put you in that vibration you know, all of it, your, your trauma, your beliefs, uh, things that happened to you, you know, you haven't done the healing, you just haven't done the, you haven't done the work to be at a higher vibration. It's just, sorry, but that's just like, it takes a certain amount of effort. Um, so, so you can't, so, I, so, so nobody, no matter how well-intentioned or, or whatever, can just come up to you and be like, yo, just raise your vibe instantaneously into the love. No. And I thought that was, you know, maybe, maybe possible if I just give someone a big hug and smile, they'll just give me a hug. No actually some people will be like yeah fuck it you know and some people in the love will be like yeah bro but people who are really in the fear they're like the fuck does this guy want from me you know this is weird but literally like i'll make them feel uncomfortable and i was making people feel uncomfortable and so so that's not that's not necessarily helping uh maybe in some way <laughs> maybe in some way it'll force them to look at themselves but but i realized that 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 isn't the way forward so i didn't use any of that footage for the first couple of days and we have it, and I may may use it for another video. Um, but I realized I actually wanted to spread, um, you know, really positive stuff. And so I just thought, let's just make a video of me hugging people and, and um, have, a, have, a, have a beautiful spin on it. And because ultimately, I just want to spread the love. But at the same time, I do want to spread the truth as well. And the truth is we're being lied to and manipulated. And uh, we have to wake up also to not just a spiritual sense, which is my main passion, but in the, even though this is a dream, what is happening in the dream? How are we being lied to and manipulated and played in the dream? Because that is preventing us from, from waking up also on every level. Um, so yeah, so, so, so this, this video also just showed me, uh, it was a good practice for me to stay in my heart because I was frustrated at times, you know? I was really frustrated because I, I, I see people and I love them and I have compassion and really sweet people you know, who I can tell are like, you know, nice, sweet, sweet people. And they're terrified and they're walking around with masks. Like people are, I've seen people literally struggling to breathe and carrying all their stuff. And they're like, <gasps> and, and, and there's things in their face. And I'm just looking at them like, oh man, if you only knew, if you only knew that um, you're hurting yourself wearing that thing and you're not helping yourself. And um, yeah, yeah, it, it's hard. It's, you know, it's hard for me. Um, so it was a really good practice for me to just sort of like accept like people are at where they're at and, um, you know, when they're ready, I just have to tr kind of trust in the, in the universal plan. And if it's happening and that's where people are at, that must be where they need to be in their awakening process. And, um, and then everything is perfect and, and they'll get there when they get there. And just to keep loving them and keep loving myself and to stay in my truth no matter what. Even though part of me is like, wake the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, hey, you know, I, I try and love everyone because I know they're me. 
and uh, don't judge where people are at and don't um, don't project and just just love them and give them the opportunity to take a flyer or to talk to me and, and, and maybe have a, you know, have an experience or learn something or, you know, almost vibrationally to tap into a different field that maybe can can help them. So it's, it's good to provide that opportunity, but not come in with an agenda, you not come in uh, trying to teach them or trying to tell them that they're wrong because um, it's only the ego that wants to know people, tell people that they're wrong, you know? So what am I doing? If I'm just like, hey man, you're asleep, bro, you need to wake up. You know, I want to offer that, you know, um, but there has to be a willing participant. And, um, you know, the, 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 the scary part here is that people are so in the fear and they're so uh, indoctrinated and brainwashed that um, they, don't, um, they don't even know they have a choice. They don't even know they have a choice. They're just in the fear and they think that all they have to do is keep being afraid because they think being afraid is what's keeping them alive. You see what I'm saying? So they're just like, no, no, if I stay in the fear and stay away from everybody and isolate myself, don't make eye contact, wear a mask, don't, don't, don't make eye contact, stay at home. Um, they think that's the way to be safe. And um, it's actually, um, you know, rather than uh, keeping them alive, it's actually create, creating, it's making them into the living dead because they're technically alive. They have no love in their hearts. They can't love. They're too scared to love or receive love or, or look you in the eye. And so they're, they're, not, they're not really here. You know, they're not really here, so... Yeah, so it's, it's kind of heartbreaking, but um, yeah, it's turned into a big rant. But anyway, that, that's kind of, kind of what's been going on. So I'm happy this video went out. I hope people like it. And uh, yeah, a lot of more stuff is, is coming out. And uh, I've got lots of crazy ideas on how we can try and spread the love and wake people up in a gentle way that's fun. Maybe a little shocking, but fun. Uh, but not just me yelling at people and telling them to wake the fuck up. <laughs> so, so there it is. Uh, lots more stuff coming. Sending you guys uh, much love. And uh, there'll be some interviews coming up on this channel and also on my Woke as Fuck uh, spiritual channel uh about uh, all this one stuff uh, all this good stuff and yada 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 okay so love you guys and uh see you when i see you right, peace out